What up YouTube, Machine Dana here. Hope you're doing really, really well. Hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create crossed clipped content onto TikTok easily from Twitch clips. So that is taking a Twitch clip within minutes, editing it and placing it on TikTok, being able to acquire new growth and new viewers from TikTok. Obviously with streaming, particularly on Twitch, discoverability isn't great, it just isn't. So the people that are posting content across multiple platforms are the ones that are most likely to be able to grow at a faster pace. Now bear in mind with Twitch, you're already creating some awesome content anyway. You're already gonna be creating moments that are repeatable funny, lovely moments that you might want to share with your community. But if you can make those moments also hooks to bring in new viewers to your live stream, then that's obviously a bonus, right? And why not make the most of those moments on your stream that are the best moments? So in the video, I'm gonna be going through three different platforms that you can use to take a Twitch clip and place it onto TikTok. Two of them I'm just gonna very briefly show, and one of them I'm going to show in a lot more detail. And I'm gonna be going through the full process of uploading the clip, editing the video, and then getting it onto TikTok. And you can even then upload it through your mobile through TikTok and do all the normal TikTok things that make it viral. For instance, the sound effects or the physical effects, the text, the tags. Time is obviously of a premium for you as a streamer. It's already difficult enough to do all the things you're supposed to do as a streamer. So something like cross clipping that allows you to take existing content and make more of it in a very, very short space of time obviously is going to benefit you. And if you watch this video and at any point you watch it and think, man, this seems like it's quite a lot of work, just try it out. Please just try it out because I thought that as well about cross clipping and when I actually tried it and realized just how easy it was. Yeah, I've been getting loads of clips out on TikTok ever since. Feel free to follow me, link to TikTok in the description below. If you enjoy this, like the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Let's go. So I've got this Twitch clip here. Yeah, one of my cities getting killed by a meteor in Civilization 6. If you're interested in Civilization 6 content, feel free to check my stream out. I play it once or twice a week. All you need to do is obviously make the clip itself. So for Twitch, the maximum length of the clip is one minute. For TikTok, they've actually just increased the maximum length from one minute to three minutes. So your Twitch clips will always be compatible. So you need to copy the URL for the Twitch clip that you're wanting to cross clip. Now, before we get into the tool that I'm going to use today, I'm just going to look at two quick alternatives. I found this one here stream ladder very similar thing we would paste in the twitch clip here click get clip and then you could download the file to then upload it up into tiktok similar kind of vibe where you can adjust the camera and the gameplay and there's also this one here called joincombo.com i'll link both of these in the description below for you okay similar thing you connect your twitch account here and you're able to then yeah save time by importing the videos today we're going to be using cross clip now very quickly about cross clip and here's the reason why i wanted to use cross clip if you scroll down to the bottom and go on the terms of service here, we can see that it's an actual Streamlabs product. So CrossClip's actually owned by Logitech who own Streamlabs. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to use CrossClip because I know that it's still going to be around in a year or two or three years. Whereas some of these lesser known platforms may not be around. They probably will be, but obviously use them at your own risk. So just a quick side note here, there is actually a CrossClip web application. You can get it for iOS, you can get it for Android. Uh, look here at what it is. The problem is at the moment, it's more of a browser. It's basically just a browser to look at the clips that you have already created on CrossClip. You can't like do the adjustments and all the things like that. So I'm sure over time they will change the app so that you can make those adjustments and upload or download from the app CrossClip and then up to TikTok. But at the moment, that doesn't seem to be the case. But it does at least give you that option to create the clips on CrossClip and then upload them to TikTok from your mobile. So that's obviously the key purpose here. If you prefer uploading your TikToks through your mobile, you can download them from the device using the application and upload them through TikTok on your mobile well, even if you've created them on your desktop. So yeah, with CrossClip from Logitech, from Streamlabs, you simply paste in the clip URL here, you click get clip, and at this point we can start to build the clip. And we've got some audio we can turn on here if we want. This is me getting very stressed about losing my city to a meteorite. <laughs> And we can just pause this for a second. Now, because I edited the clip on Twitch to be the exact perfect length, I know that the full length of this is going to be fine for me, but you do still have the option here to make a shorter version of it. Now, at this point, we've got a few different options that we can look at. Now, before I go into exactly how we edit all of this, I'm just going to quickly look at the pro version here. Now, there is obviously a free version here. It's $0 per month, and you can import videos, edit, customize, you can share on the mobile app. $4.99 per month, which is relatively reasonable, particularly if you're regularly uploading to TikTok. Now, 
bear in mind this is super easy to do. It's a really convenient option for people. You can upgrade to this, you get everything free. It removes a watermark which is displayed at the end of the video, which I'll show you later in the video. It removes the outro video, which is essentially like an extension of the watermark. Instead of it being 720 by 30 frames on the free version, you get 1080 by 60 frames, which is the maximum you can get on TikTok. And you've got the option here to just get a little bit of a discount by paying on a yearly basis, which gets you two months free, essentially. I don't have the pro version yet, but I probably will be getting it because I think it's pretty good value. What I want to do is just use this for a little while first to make sure that I'm going to get good use out of it. So now the settings we've got here, there's different layouts that you can use, but you can manipulate these things anyway. So don't worry too much about the actual layout, but that's just a quick option for you. You can choose the output format as well here. So for example, if you wanted to put something on YouTube in, I don't know, landscape, you can do that. And also square for Instagram and Facebook. I'll show you what the blurred background looks like in a minute or two. There's watermark. So you can choose to remove the watermark once you've got pro and the outro, you can choose to remove it once you've got pro. Why you would ever leave them on if you've got a pro account, I really don't know. So if you do upgrade, make sure you toggle these things off. And then we're basically going to define where exactly the camera is. So on the left hand side, we've got the input section. The right hand side, we've got the output section. The output section is obviously exactly how your video will look on TikTok. But now we need to just manipulate these things on the inputs so that the outputs look a little bit tidier. Now for me, I just happen to have a square webcam. So I'm going to change my camera to a square. But you've also got landscape. Show sure you what these look like. So that's the landscape. You've got portrait here in case you've got like a portrait webcam and then a square webcam. When you select the camera, it won't actually change this box until you click to resize it. So don't worry too much if that doesn't resize straight away. You just need to make an adjustment and then it will realize that it's got a different camera input now. So I'm going to select this and just grab my input here. Now I'd recommend just trying to take more of a close up if you can. You don't want to get any dead space because that's just ne unnecessary pixels. You want to keep as much detail as possible from the input clip. I'm just going to select this kind of section here, leaving a little bit of room for my head to move around and maybe just preview this as well. Yeah, my head's staying in the in the middle of it there. That's fine. We do now have the option to change the aspect ratio of the content itself now. However, you just need to bear in mind the output format is going to be whatever it's going to be. And as you can see here, we can get a preview of this. When you resize on this, it will then show the, what the new output format is. Again, it didn't adjust it straight away, but the moment I played around with stuff here, it then did work. So the moment you press play on it, it then updates the clip on the output side. So here's what the blurred background looks like. You can see it's blurred the content behind my camera here. So again, if I just click play on that instead, it can be black instead. You may prefer black. And now we just need to basically select the content on screen that you're looking to have. So for me, I'm focusing in very much on this city being killed by a meteorite. So I'm going to zoom in on that content and I want to get my original camera that was on the original clip off the main content because I've got that in separately to manipulate here. I'm just going to preview what that looks like. Now we can see that zoomed in to the city being destroyed. That looks pretty cool. I'm fairly happy with that. Now all we've got to do is play around and adjust with the output attributes to make sure we're happy with, you know, where this exactly looks. So for example, it might be worth making the webcam a little bit bigger here just so you can get my reaction. You can also, if you wanted to, make this smaller like that and have the blurred background. I wouldn't advise it though. You want to be trying to make the content as large as possible. There are some editor options here as well. So you can show the input borders, which just removes the borders. Or you can show the output borders in case you wanted a clean copy of this to look at before you actually click compare compile button here. Now we click compile, we can give it a title. You have got the option to select 30 or 60 FPS if you want. Obviously, if you've got pro, you can select 60 FPS and also 1080 or 720. 1080 is locked to the pro version. So I'm going to start compilation here. It doesn't take long. This will take probably 10, 20 seconds to process. And there we have the finished output. Obviously, on its own, that's not going to be any use. What we need to do is download this now. It'll immediately download. And depending on how quick your internet is, will be how quickly it downloads. For me, pretty much instantaneous. We do have the option here to go back and to edit the information or to open it in editor and re-edit that clip. But as you can see here, we've got a watermark on the actual video itself. And then towards the end, you'll see another watermark, the outro video. And that's obviously them getting some free advertising on your content because you're not paying for the pro version, which is fair enough, really. The final thing is you can just click on your profile picture, click on my clips here, and you can see a list of all of your clips in a very similar way to TikTok. The final thing that we've just got to do here is go onto TikTok itself and upload the video. Now, again, you can do that through mobile by downloading it on the mobile app here, or you can just upload by dragging and dropping the clip here, and the process is complete. Everything else is done on TikTok the way it normally would be done. So yeah, that was 
cross clipping Twitch clips to TikTok, nice and easy, takes a minute or two and allows you to grow your community outside of just Twitch on TikTok, of course, in itself, but then to convert some of those viewers into Twitch viewers as well. Hopefully you found this really, really useful. If you did, please do hit the like. It helps me out so much and take care.